Hello and welcome to Silent Hill, a survival horror video game for the original PlayStation. This is one of the games that rivals the Resident Evil genre. Instead of being more realistic, involving biological weapon, this focuses more on psychological, supernatural horror stuff. And since we're already in the month of Halloween, I thought we can just go through this. And yes, it's been a while since I've been doing a lot of videos. I had to take the time off and all that because work. Yeah, so anyway, we're just going to go into this and see what, can, what we can get through this game. And just like before, I'm going to have to silence some of the volume during the cutscenes and dialogues and all that. So with that said, let's dive into Silent Hill. And we're going to be playing this in normal, so... We're not going to go too crazy over the difficulty modes. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. Too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. That's because it is a ghost town. Cheryl? So right off the bat, this is actually a tank controller. Move back and forth. Just like Resident Evil, but the only difference is most of the environment is not 3D render. And in camera ang all the camera and angle. I can't speak right now, so yeah. And this is centered around a man trying to find his daughter in a ghost town, so yeah. Enough said, let's move on. Because I really can't speak today, like always. Footsteps?
Ah, oh, there she is. Cheryl? Is that Cheryl? Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! Okay, so we're gonna have to follow her. At first, I always thought that this dialogue was gonna be silence and all. Oh, and she's in the alleyway. But it's just gonna turn to silence dialogue with the cutscenes. Not cutscenes, but subtitles, but. No. And switch into a different voices. <sighs> and a neat thing about this is whenever I run faster and too much time, I just exhale and a inhale. Ugh. All right, let's go see what she's up to. Beginning to hear sirens from out of nowhere. What the? What is it? Blood. Alright, let's see if Cheryl's all the way into the alleyway. And I kind of like the camera angle from this area, moving towards, zooming out. And there is a movie based off it, 2006, but instead with a, fem a male, it's a female. Kind of stay true to the adaption. That's strange. It's getting darker. Better than nothing, I guess. And I didn't even know I had to move. So now, instead of being snowing, it's starting to rain. And this is where everything goes a little crazy. A broken wheelchair. What this did? What's this doing here? See. I can't speak. What's this? And it's getting more crazier by the minute. more grimy and more bloody. What is this? What's going on here? I don't know, but I don't really want to stay. And of course there are monsters popping out of nowhere. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. And of course, everything is blocked. Blocked by the fence. So I might as well accept my fate. And I'm dead. Not quite. Oh, I'm alive now, okay. And we found somebody. Who are you? Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm alright, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? 
Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh-huh. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Okay, so we've already met a new character. Sybil. So let's just check around here before we move on. And got some red radio over there and this. A health drink, I'll take it. And a kitchen knife. In case something bad happens. So let's just explore around a little, a little bit. A pimple machine, nothing useful. Usual, excuse me. And another one of these health drinks. As well as a flashlight. That's a weird looking flashlight. And we got ourselves the residential area map. And this is Silent Hill, the self title of the place I am. I'll take it anyway. And I'm over here. I could have sworn I saw something. This is a clipboard. Someday someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they will find my notes useful. So basically, you can just save your game if you want to, but we are not going to, so let's just move on. But first, let me just equip myself with the gun. Yeah, good enough. So let's move on. Nothing useful here and there, so let's get out of here. What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? I'm not sure, but it's not going to be pretty. And we found our first enemy. This 
giant bird thing. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? I don't know, Harry, but it looks like hell has broken loose. I guess we're going to have to take the radio. Pocket radio. So as you can see, this is very important because the radio can tell portable radio that emits st static. I can't read this part. Emitted static when monsters are near. So in other words, it makes noise when an enemy is nearby. Yeah, so I don't think we're just going to have to move on now. Somebody would just fix that broken window. Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I checked that alley again. And it's over there in Finney Street, where the red mark is. And there I am in the cafe. So another thing you may notice about the map is when you head to that area, there's some hammock. Head to that area, you'll mark your territory. So let's head to that place. I kind of like the way the fog looks at the time. That was pretty new. And there's an enemy nearby. And I couldn't have sworn that thing sounds like a pig. Whenever it attacks me. And another way you can kill an enemy without wasting any ammo is by kicking it like that. That helps you convert, save your ammunition. Sorry, I really cannot speak today. I just woke up for a nap. What else is over there? What's over there? Nothing. I'm guessing there's something lurking in that alleyway. Another enemy, a dog. Two of them. Let's go check that alleyway. See if I can go back where those things attacked me. Minus those things popping out, actually. <sighs> Let me just catch my breath. Oh good, more handgun ammo. That's all I need. Alright, let's see what we got here. To school. Isn't the Cheryl sketchbook? Hmm. She's at the school. Alright, so there's the school. Midwich Elementary, somewhere in Midwich Street. Okie dokie. Sketchbook cover. This picture, it's me. Not quite. The first picture that Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave on her fifth birthday. And we got ourselves the steel pipe. Well, that's helpful because now I can just save my ammo and it's much more useful than a kitchen knife. Alright, so let's head back. 
somewhere out there. Cheryl might be out scared. Oh, I didn't even notice. If you press the left trigger, it just sees the area. And I already see one of them coming by. I really don't have time for this. Let me just check something. Move it around like that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So if you check your map again, you're going to have to go to the destination in Levin Street. You'll find a doghouse. And in that doghouse, it's going to show a key in it. It's nearby a door that can get you to the other side. So let's head to that area. So many of those things. Yeah, that's right. Fly away. There it is. North Leaden Street. So it's got to be a doghouse nearby. You're just going to have to find it. There it is. Probably a doghouse, though I'm not sure since there's no dog around. I just killed two nearby, so what do you mean? Nothing in particularly around. So this is where you're going to have to go. But it's locked. Let's just... And I fell. Let me just come back to that place later. See if there's anything useful over there. And there's a road that's been destroyed. Doghouse, Levin Street. Oh, cause all right. So basically, it's not gonna sh show me the key unless I see a clue. So I just went over here for nothing. Over there for nothing. Even though I already tried searching for that. So head back to that doghouse again and look for the key again. There it is. House key. Was hidden in the doghouse. Take it, of course. So let's go inside this house. And we already unlock it. Look what we got. A first aid kit. Fortunately, it's not a first aid spray because that'll be copyright from Capcom. It's locked. Hello? Anyone here? I guess not. And there's a TV set. The power must be out. Doesn't work, obviously. And what do we got here? Coffee? No. Yeah, all right, let's see what's over there. The refrigerator is empty. Man, I was kind of hungry. But at least there's these health drink. Or I like to call it energy drink. Alright, so anyway, there's a door over there. Here, excuse me. But it has three locks. 
and the map is over in the side that shows you where the key for the lock is. Key for Eclipse. Something is written on the map, hands on the wall. So on the right side it shows you where the location of the keys are. Queen Burgers. I'm not trying to reference the Burger King. Copy it on your map, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. And there it is. I got to go to that destination to find the keys, so let's go. Of course, I can just explore around freely to find whatever else item is there. Let's see here already been in that area. Ooh, I didn't see that. Give you a good opportunity for me to kick you, though. So when I first heard about Silent Hill was back in 1999. I always thought that this was a, when I saw Sybil's character, I thought it was just a horrible cosplay of Tomb Raider, a live action one though, but it was actually a different game. I didn't know much at the time. And this place is also blocked as well. It just takes two shots for these dogs to go down. See? Let's see what are else this way. There's an alleyway over there. Only three of them, great. Gotta make it count. Oh, this one's already dead. That was easy. Hopefully I'm going to save these first aid kit soon. This area is off limits. Bridge is out. Road is out, excuse me. Bridge. check my map just to see where that area is okay there's another alleyway small one and over there so let's check in this part first flew away but I found more handgun bullets. Nice. It just flew away. So I'm going to have to head straight just to see where the first key is. Nothing here or there. Probably some... Alright, nothing there, okay. <sighs> Let's check in here. Which happens to be a... A basketball court. 
and there's a skull, a dog's head, while they're trying to play basketball with a dog's skull. But at least we found this. The first key, woodsman, and some health. Speaking of which, let me check my health just to see if I'm still good. So let's move on. Heading to that direction. Let me check this place first. Where the world is. Now look, there's a 7-Eleven ripoff. But it's just an 8. 8 hate or something like that. And this thing sleeping. There we go. So let's see what's inside this store. Nothing useful. Actually, there's some health. But it would be nice if I have ammunition. More bullets. And there's another clipboard. Alright, nothing here. Let's check what's in the behind the counter. Any money? Nope. No money. I pronounced that wrong. Alright, time to get out of here. Thank you. Don't come again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I really... <laughs> I thought I killed you. Yeah, I didn't want to make that reference or that thing from the Simpsons let's see where this leads me somewhere in the tunnel Another one. Oh, there's my car. My Jeep. Too banged up to drive. No kidding. Where's Cheryl? Hope she's safe. And I got myself another drink. Alright, so let me check my map again. Already got that one over there, so I'm gonna have to go to the one of the arrow and the circle. On the left side. Hopefully I can just do some editing later on, if this takes too long. More of these things, are you serious? I'm just gonna have to ignore them. That's my best chance I have. And you dead. Just need to catch my breath. 
Okay, that's the better. We found the line key. Just one more and we get to go over there. And it's somewhere in the this part over there. On my left. You dead. Almost there. Alright. Dead end. Let's see. And he fell down there. Already dead. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh. There it is. Just walk over to this area. Carefully. On top of the thing. And you'll find the scarecrow key. Along with another health drink. Now let's head back. Okay, hold up for a second. I've already got all the keys, so I'm gonna have to check in this particular area first, just to be sure if there's any goodies over here, so this may take a while. So I made it to this part, and fortunately the whole road is off too. lost him. Oh well, so that's already taken care of. Let's head back to the house so we can get over there. There it is. Just let me catch my breath again. That was a very long run. Okay, that's better. Now that I got all three keys, let's unlock this back door. Key of Lion. Key of Woodsman. Woodman. And Key of Scarecrow. It's unlocked. What do they all have in common? I don't know. What? It's getting dark again. What's going on? Well, at least we got our flashlight. You can just turn it off if you want to or not. Most of the lightings are pretty unique, interesting. And there's no Barbies in the grill. Let me just get some of my health. Everything seems... What's that word? Sinister? Or ominous. Whatever, let's just move on. Okay, so we made it to the other side. And the school's just right over there. I just want to check around this area for a moment. I don't think it's necessary to do that, but whatever. I'm just going to find what's there before saving my daughter anyway. Clear. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore that. Just trying to move on to that. Uh, 
area. And what do you know, I'm choking again. Closed off. I want to see how it looks if I run in the dark. Yeah, that is very, very scary. That was a bad idea. this cave or collapsed bridge I, from the looks of it just these and that's it The school's just over there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going to ignore everything and just move on. Run as fast as I can until I can make it to the school. And doing that is just making it more scary than before. This is not just any ordinary darkness. This is eternal darkness. Or is that how I was supposed to say in SpongeBob? Oh, whatever, I just let's just keep on going. See if I can make it over there. Yeah, you're dead, so whatever, I don't have time for this. there made it midwich elementary miss me made it made it to the school. Luckily. Cheryl must be there. Here. I should search for her. Yeah, that's not really a good choice to go at this time. But luckily we found ourselves the map of the school. So I'll take it. I'm just gonna go let me check into the reception or office first before I do that and what do we have here more Ronaldo Gordon this must be the less stuff teacher Funny, kind of reminds me a lot like my time in elementary school. Come to think of it, my mom was a my mom was a teacher of um, elementary, as a teach. Yeah, against whatever. It's written in blood. Ten o'clock, alchemy laboratory. Gold in an old man's palm. The future hidden in the first fist, in his fist, exchange for sage water. Okay. Five o'clock, darkness that brings the choking heart 
heat. The flame renowned the silence, awakened the hungry beast, open time door to Brikin prey. Twelve o'clock, a place with songs and sounds, a silver guidepost is untapped by the lost tongue, awaken at the ordinary order. I can't read that part. Let's go inside here. What do we got? A picture of a door. I don't know who drew it, but it is certainly a bad taste. Kind of looks like a heavy metal, death metal cover. Let's see what's over there. Yeah, just some ammo, okay. Let me get this out of the way. And see if I can save my progress. Check that door. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Good. Now I can save my progress. Let me just get this out of the way. Alright, I'm going to have to end this video here. So thank you for watching this, and hopefully I can try better with my speech. So, if there's anything that you like about this, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be very helpful. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.